little recap of Cedar Lake the other day with Jerry. We caught, we caught a few fish. Nothing really big. No overs. Some nice upper slot fish. And it was all on a jerk bait, of course. The water was... Um, it was right at 41 degrees. I think it was 40.8 when we started out in the morning. And we did find some pockets that were 44.8 was the warmest we saw. But it's pretty consistently, you know, in the up like 43.5 um, to 44.2, something like that. So 43, 44 degrees. Hopefully there's more to come. Water temperature is 43.2. There's a little bit of wind out here. We got mostly sunny skies. That's what it's been for quite a while now. You know, the last month or so. It's not really it's stayed in that, that low 40s. So pretty stable water conditions. The biggest change was the uh, we've had some rain and the water has definitely got some stain to it now. Especially in Pomona. It's chocolate in Pomona. And All right. That's what it looks like. Pretty nasty. You go out towards the main lake and it clears up a little bit, but it's still like probably three foot visibility. I haven't been up north. I'm sure it's quite a bit clearer up there. It doesn't get the stain like, like the south end does. Not much, but it's slow out here. Monster time. Starting to get a few bites, we pulled in this one pocket and Jerry had three follow his jerk bait. He caught one. I just caught this one. Hopefully there's more to come. Water temperature is 43.2. There's a little bit of wind out here. We got mostly sunny skies. And it's been really slow. But we're gonna get back at it.
Well, the sun's setting and we pulled into this spot that we started out this morning and didn't catch any fish and we've caught two in here. So they're starting to bite a little bit. But fortunately, we're going to run out of daylight. Just gotta have a lot of confidence in the jerk bait that you're throwing. I mean, really, there's not really anything else that they're biting on. I've, we've been trying to pick some fish off the bottom, the shaky head and a crawl Texas rig. <clears throat> Hasn't been happening. You get a bite every once in a while, but it seems like all the fish are suspended or sitting in the grass. And it's just about getting that jerk bait as close to the grass as you can. Usually it's right on the outer grass line or just the first 10, 15 feet out off, off of it is where you're gonna get bit. You just gotta be patient and you know, we're throwing just tr traditional colors like clowns, pro blue, white. Um, it just depends on the day, but really it's just about covering water and being confident with what you're throwing. And just stick to your guns. Don't, don't get uh, spun out and try to change up your jerk baits all the time. I've been a victim of that. You know, go through like 10 different colors and stuff. And you gotta do that sometimes, but sometimes you make it a little more difficult than what it really is. A lot of times it's just about covering water and paying attention to your cadence and how deep your, how deep your jerk bait's going. But it seems like the jerk baits are run like four or five foot or what, what you need right now. I've been trying some deeper stuff and it hasn't been working. Early cave, man. I always figured they wouldn't bite. Bass don't bite in the winter. It was so hard to catch. 